Hi friends, today we are going to see the code searches with driver IO. Let's go. So as usual, we are starting from the scratch. So let me create a new folder. Create a new folder and open VS Code. So open the same folder, the VS Code. You can do either in the PowerShell or Terminal, Jitbash Terminal. But I am familiar with the VS Code Terminal. Uh, the first step is we need the Node.js. So the first command is npm init fy. So since we are starting from the scratch, I have to start the package. Okay, package is done. So next step is we have to install the code sub JS, and this time we are going to install the WebDriver IO. So in previous videos we have seen with the puppet here so web driver is more useful for cross browser testing purpose it uses selenium web driver start course of changes set enter it will download the code sub as well as uh, web driver de dependencies but up there we no need to download any additional uh, Packages, but for web driver IO, we use we need to download the Selenium standalone service, so that that services will Selenium standalone server will start and stop automatically. So now the dependencies are done. Now I'm going to initiate the last time test. Tests are located, so we have already seen this. Um, I think we to set web driver this time. Output English and then site is google.com. Chrome browser by default. Uh, say google search. Yes, so everything is done. Now you can go see the config file. You can see all the options what are entered are here. So now we have an additional step we need to do. We have to install the Selenium server. So I'm just pasting the command. Uh, what are the commands I'm using? I will provide in the description. You can just copy paste and use it to avoid the spelling error. So once it is done, we just need to enable this. Uh, we no need to start this Selenium server manually, start and stop for every time. So we just simply add this in the uh, plugins tag. So it will automatically, it's already available in CodeSubJS site. So I just say WDIO enable through and services Selenium standalone. So which means every time whenever you run the script, this service will automatically start and shut down by itself. We don't need to worry about anything. So I just everything is done. We just make this there. So I go to my Google search test file. I'm on page slash. I just wait for two seconds. And then that's it. So now I run So 
So it opened the Chrome browser. Just wait for two seconds and close it. That's it. So now it's by default. It's so simple. Now, if you so I mentioned already, so web driver I will is very useful for the cross browser testing. So if you want to run against a Firefox, simply go to the config file and just change the browser from Chrome to Firefox. Save it. You don't need to do anything. So run it again. Send this command. So this time the browser will open with Firefox browser. You don't need to worry about which version, which driver. So everything is automatic. So now the browser is Firefox. So I'm doing the same operation. Everything will work as like. That's it. I just upload this code in the Google Drive. So you can use it for your reference if you have any doubts. Thanks, guys. See you next video. Thank you so much. Bye.